Let's open our Bibles to Exodus chapter 13. Exodus chapter 13, reading from verse 21 to verse 22. Exodus chapter 13, reading from verse 21 to verse 22. I'm speaking on the ministry of the pillar of cloud and fire. The ministry of the pillar of cloud and fire. The ministry of the pillar of cloud and fire. Exodus chapter 13 verse 21 and 22 by day the lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or night neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people hallelujah now the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire were described as a dual theophany. It was a manifestation of God that led Israel on the wilderness. Now, so the first thing we learn about ministry here is that ministry is manifestation. Ministry is manifestation. Ministry is manifesting God. In fact, in ministry, there should be the public display of God. In ministry, God should be visibly evident in ministry. And today, our prayer is that, and you know, now in the church of Pentecost, it is not only a selected few who are into ministry, but we have understood in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, once we are all a royal priesthood, we are all into ministry. So when I'm talking about ministry, it's not only about the clergy, all of us. I pray that your ministry will manifest. There should be the public display of God in the institutions, in homes, in hospitals, in schools. God should be visibly present. In our prayers, God should be visibly present. In our evangelism, God should be displayed publicly. Number two, the pillar of cloud was to guide them during the day. So ministry is direction. Ministry is direction. In fact, your ministry must be able to provide direction. If your ministry doesn't have direction, but you have speed, forget about speed. For speed becomes irrelevant when you don't have direction. But when you have direction, then you can develop speed. Some ministries have speed, but they don't have direction. I pray that the ministries we are inaugurating today, both traditional, already existing and new ones, and personal ministries and collective and corporate ministries will have direction in the name of Jesus. Number three, the pillar of fire was to give them light at night. So ministry is light. Ministry must provide sight. Ministry must provide vision. In ministry, there should be illumination. Hallelujah. So your ministry must be able to show the way. That all darkness will flee. And people will see God. And that is our prayer today. Now, technically, the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire, it is only when you read Numbers chapter 9, verse 15, that you realize that technically, they were the same. The pillar of cloud, the Amud Anan, and the pillar of fire, Amud Esh, were technically the same. Because the Bible said in Numbers 9, 15, that it was the cloud that during the night provided fire. So it was the same. But during the day, it is cloud. During the night, it is fire. I am telling you that ministry is day and night. Ministry is day and night. During the day, we work. As Jesus said in John chapter 9 verse 4. And during the night, when we don't work, we pray. Which is also work in its entirety anyway. But the Bible says in Matthew 13, that when men slept, the enemy came to sow tests among the wheat. So during the day, we are doing evangelism, we are working. But during the night, we pray. Ministry is day and night. The place of the Amudu Anan and the Amudu Esh was in front of the people. So we can authoritatively say that God is indeed an offensive player. But sometimes, he can also be a defensive player. Because when enemy were in pursuit of Israel, the Bible says that the pillar of cloud then withdrew 
and came to their rear. So God is an offensive player. God is also a defensive player. I pray that the Lord will lead you and I pray that the Lord will defend you. The cloud of glory is moving. Move, move with the with cloud. The cloud. Move, move with the cloud. Hallelujah. The, the cloud, cloud of glory is moving. Hallelujah. Move, move with, with the cloud. cloud. Let your spirit arise and your mouth filled with praise. Come on, let us worship together. Oh, and wherever you be, new heights will be achieved. Oh, with the cloud. Move with the cloud. That was why in Ephesians chapter 6, in talking about the armor, no armor was provided for the back. Because you see, in ministry, you don't retreat, you don't surrender. You only go forward. Because when the enemy is in pursuit, you don't turn your back, you don't return, because he's got your back. Your back is already covered. As soon as the enemy is in pursuit, the cloud moves from the front and comes to the rear. So you have protection. Oh, hallelujah. Numbers chapter 9. You can have time to read from verse 15 to verse 22. But in verse 15, the Bible says that when they finish setting up the tabernacle, the cloud covered it. So ministry is covering Ministry is covering. People must have covering because of your ministry. Ministry is covering. And that was why they were covered. So Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 5, Moses said, I led you for 40 years, but the clothes you wore for 40 years and the sandals you wore did not wear out. So I strongly believe, the Bible didn't say, but I strongly believe, that they were on the wilderness for 40 years. Their clothes did not wear out. Their sandals did not wear out. I believe the pillar of cloud was like an air condition. So it shielded them from the heat of life and from the sufferings of the world. Hallelujah. Oh, we are not saying that we will not go through challenges in ministry. But the heat of life will not actually make your clothes wear and your sandals wear. For the cloud shall be over you. May the Lord cover you. Stand to your feet. For I end with this one. Let your spirit arise and your mouth fill with grace. Come, let us worship together. Oh, and wherever The Bible says, whenever the cloud lifts, they set out. Wherever the cloud settles, they come. Ministry is whenever and wherever. Whenever. Ministry is whenever. At any time and at every time. In fact, time makes no difference. God works in time, but he's not bound by time. Ministry is wherever. It means that he can work in space, but he's not bound by space. Wherever. At every place. At any place. I pray that you will not be complaining about your transfers. Ministry is where God preaches you. I pray that you will not negotiate about your transfers. Wherever and whenever. And listen to this. Whenever the cloud lifts, they set out. Wherever the cloud settles, they settle. 
So, ministry is about setting out. If you don't set out, he cannot settle you. It is only when you set out, then you can think of settlement. People are thinking of settlement, but they are not thinking of setting out. If you don't set out, he can't settle you. Why talk about settlement when you don't want to set out? I pray that people will not be staying in their closets, that the church will set out. As we are being unleashed, oh, set out. But I end with this. There is something called the Shekinah glory. People have always associated the Shekinah glory with the pillar of cloud. They cannot actually differentiate because wherever the cloud settles is where the glory dwells. So if there is no settling, there is no dwelling, I tell you that the Shekinah glory shall lead you as you set out the glory of the Lord shall accompany you. And where it settles, you shall settle. When it moves, you have to move. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ministry, ministry. Oh, Gratefully, please take your seats. Do it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus. Sit upon Open my eyes. Panda denimo, o panda denimo, iradi yana juma, o panda denimo, o panda denimo, o panda. Our Father in heaven, the establisher of this great church, whenever your people gather, you have a word. This one is not just a word, but prophetic to lift these ones that have been ushered into another realm of ministry and to every one of us that just as you did in time past oh god pillar of cloud pillar of fire pillar of cloud pillar of fire which is today holy ghost descend upon every one of us for we are a priest of nation that you oh God today is launching us out even though there are a few who are going to lead us therefore with uplifted hands oh God we pray that your persons shall lead and that we will not struggle for settlement but as we set out your glory shall lead and encompass us we resist the efforts of men barriers and impediments that will seek to frustrate every one of us and these leaders that we shall overcome. And because of the cloud of fire, cloud, which is fire, cloud, that will settle upon us, we will shine wherever we find ourselves. And whenever we are pushed anywhere, lead, O oh God, that as we are led, we shall manifest even signs and wonders. In the mighty name of Jesus have we prayed. Amen.
just about evangelism or building huge stretches or congregations but it's about discipling nations if that is so then we cannot be careless about it because we need to disciple nations we need to be very strategic about that very intentional as to what we are doing working in particular ways to be able to disciple nations. The real philosophy behind the church unleash is not so much about numerical growth, even though we desire that the whole Ghana will be given to us. But the central theme is a certain philosophy of ministry, the kind of ministry that de devises means to build major ministries extending across nations. Ministries not typically found in the local church. One of the major characteristics of the church on leash is that it grows broader in ministry. We are many, therefore our ministry should go broader so that every one of us will have something to do in the church. One man has said, the mark of a great church is not in its seating capacity, but its sending capacity. Brothers and sisters, as churches grow bigger like our church, the ministries within the church must also grow broader. That is why we have designed many other means to reach the lost. The apostle Paul alone said, I have become all things to all men. Then what should the church of Pentecost say with our numbers? We should also design means to reach the lost so that by all possible means, we will save some. So today, by the grace of God, we are here. We are here to induct and introduce certain ministries that we have designed as a people to reach the lost. Some, we call them the traditional ones, and the others are also interventions. We are calling them traditional because we have lived with them for a while, and they have also found their structures in the constitution of the church. So we need to respect those ones very well. Now, we want to avoid a situation where we come here every year to be inducting people. So we shall limit the induction to the traditional ministries. Otherwise, the prayer we are going to pray for all of them will work. Just for us so that we will not be coming here every year, every year coming to induct. So we shall limit the induction proper for the traditional ministries. But the prayer we will pray for them will be across board. Have I communicated? Respectfully, I want to invite the following who have been given a second term. Apostle Vincent Ananidente Pemem and then Mrs. Philomena Mreku, Women's Ministry. And these ones have also been given their first term. Apostle Emmanuel Apia, Evangelism Ministry, and then Pastor Samuel Avenue, Children's Ministry. Chair, you may now continue. So, respectfully, we want to invite their deputies to join. Um, for evangelism, we have Elder Ejekumhine, Women's Ministry, uh, Sister Vivian, Amfo, and then children, yeah. 
As for payment, he's already working, so he doesn't need to be here. Children, you have been inducted already, right? Yeah, so that's okay. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And on behalf of the Executive Council, the General Council, and the entire membership of the Church of Pentecost, I congratulate you, Apostle Vincent Nanani Dente, Apostle Emmanuel Apia, Pastor Samuel Avonio, and Dickness Philomena Mirku, on your appointment to the high office of trust as ministry directors of the Church of Pentecost. Congratulations. I also congratulate Elder Ishmael Jekumhine and Dickness Mrs. Vivian Amfo on your appointment as deputy directors as well as all other newly appointed office holders in the various ministries. Congratulations to you all. The General Council would, however, like you to know that acceptance of this office of trust places upon you responsibilities as stipulated in the church's constitution, which you must discharge in faith, hope, and love. I solemnly call upon you to affirm the following. Having fully understood the responsibility that go with your office, do you accept the office? Now, if you do, raise your right hand in pledge to God and the church and say, yes, I do. Uh, I don't know whether their mics are alive. Um, if they are not, they are. Okay. Let me take that again. Having fully understood the responsibility that go with your office, do you accept the office? If you do, raise your right hands in pledge to God and the church and say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah, the deputies, you can also raise your right hand. Do you pledge to uphold the tenets, doctrines, and practices of the Church of Pentecost and to work within the framework of the constitution of the church? If you do, raise your right hand and say, Yes, I do. God be my helper. Yes, I do. God be my helper. Amen. Do you promise to execute your duties to God, the executive council, the general council and without let hindrance fear favor or ill will and to be fair to all irrespective of social stature gender and cultural background if you do raise your right hand and say yes i do god be my helper yes i do god be my helper command and teach these things Set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. Devote yourself to the public reading of scripture, to preaching and to teaching. Do not neglect your gift, which was given you through the prophetic message when the body of elders laid their hands on you. Be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them so that everyone may see your progress. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you save both yourself and your hearers. Amen. Let's put our hands together for God, for the great thing that he has done for this church. Now, what we are going to do is to pray for our brothers, so that the message that we have received today God will cause it to happen in their lives so that because of them we will have direction, we will have covering. Our ministry as a church of Pentecost will thrive and we will be able to possess nations that because of us none will be lost. That the glory of the Almighty will be seen from our churches to every sphere of society. 
May I respectfully ask that we stand to our feet as we stretch up our hands in prayer, asking God to be good to our brothers and to be good to us. Shall we pray together in the name of Jesus? Holy Sunday. Open your mouth and pray. Just come out and pray. Pray as if you are the director of the evangelism ministry. Pray as if you are the one who has been chosen to lead the other sheep. Pray as if you are the one who is going to lead the e church. Let us pray that God will be gracious to them, that during their tenure, we shall see the church march forward in a way as never before. Shall we pray? Let's pray for every one of our brothers here. Shall we pray, oh God, for renewed strength? Let's pray for them in the power of thy spirit. In the name of Jesus. Kole mandara da 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 ba sande zino biri ande masande katanda bi o la masande di 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 sonde rapa katande mosonde may the Lord touch every one of you may the Almighty have His own way in your life that because of you ministries will thrive may the Lord grant you fresh energy. Fresh fire, fresh grace, in a way as never before. In the name of Jesus, wabo labasanda. Let us not get tired. Pray, pray as a Pentecostal. Spread forth your hand. What do you say to God? God will take it and use it. In the name of Jesus, wapa yando rolo basonde, biriande basonde de de bakatane, zino le biriande da 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 bakitande. Zino bakatandi mosanda baba yande miriando zibulu masande makarianda zimo liberi asino bate kayanda masonde in the name of Jesus. We want to respectfully ask our dear trustee and former general secretary of our church. A father at Addison to come around and invoke the grace of God upon your life. Expect it and receive it. Yeah. Expect it and receive it. If your wife is standing by you, hold her hands because something is going to happen to you. We just don't pray for naught. You are going to change into another man that you will be able to do this work of the ministry with the grace of God. You will do it and you will not feel tired. Because God is going to be your strength. Apostle, please pray. Heavenly Father, once again you have not denied your church of men and women who are to serve in ministry. And we see here today the signs that physically you are showing. That we have the men and the women as fortresses and great energetic leaders to lead your church. But, oh Lord, they cannot do it without your support, your help, and especially the anointing and power that, oh Lord, you emit upon those who serve you. Therefore, our cry, even as we stand here, is it. Open the gates of heaven Cabo. and let that fire in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, descend mightily upon the unnatural self and build the spiritual grace and favor in them. Lord Jesus, we have nowhere than in you to serve. Therefore, in service, Bye, we yeah. need the energy. We need name. the grace. We name. need the ability. We need name. your anointing, O oh Lord, Taya. to turn us around into yes, people who have been Taya. graced Taya. with power from above. Mm. Lord, do it and do it yes, and do it yes, and Lord. do it yes, again. Cabo. The multiplicity of your gifts. Yes, Lord should be fortified in their lives. In Jesus let name. them not be ordinary, no, but let them be supernaturally, O oh Lord. Therefore, O Therefore, oh Lord, we invoke the power that is in you oh, upon Lord. them. Make them different people. In Jesus' name. Different persons. In Jesus' name. Let them be of all in all in the power of the fire in the Holy Spirit. Lord, fire them up. Amen. Lord, fire Amen. them up. Amen. 
Lord, fire them up so that they will stand physically and manifest and give out all the rudiments that are in you and in your divine teachings. We believe, oh Lord, in your name that you will surely do it. And Lord, as we cry upon you with the tongues from heaven, Oh, Let the bones in them yes, Lord. even speak. Yes, Lord. And speak oracles of God. In your name, oh Lord, we pray. Yes, Lord. Let it be seen. Yes, Lord. The old time fire. Yes, Lord. The old time grace. Amen. The old time anointing. Amen. Pour it upon them. That there will be no ordinary persons. Yes, Lord. But those who have settled in you, always seeking the direction to move ahead, never slowing down. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord God Almighty, in the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, fit them up. Jesus' name. And grace them with this uh, anointing oh, and let them move. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord? Hallelujah. Merci, merci.